today's lesson we are going to be looking at reacting volumes. So this question asks us what volume of nitrogen dioxide is produced when 100 centimetres cubed of nitrogen gas is sparked in excess oxygen. So you will always be given a balanced equation and the first thing that you want to do is pick out your reactant gas which you have numerical data for and we're going to scale that for our product. So step number one is we want to pick out the entities in this we have been given nitrogen, which is the formula N2, and we're wanting to scale for our product, which is nitrogen dioxide, which is NO2. We then do the mole ratio from the balanced equation. We've got one nitrogen and two nitrogen dioxides. We then want to times through by our constant unit. Now, we have learned that one mole is equal to 24 litres of gas, unless specified otherwise. So we're going to times both sides by 24 litres to put it into the correct unit. 1 times 24 litres gives me 24 litres and 2 times 24 litres gives me 48 litres. We then want to scale for the quantity which is given in the question. We've been given 100 centimetres cubed. We have to convert that into litres, which is 0 0.1. Because it is of the nitrogen gas, we want to put it underneath the same entity. And then we cross multiply. 48 times 0 0.1 divided by 24 gives us 0 0.2 litres or 200 centimetres cubed. In this next example, it asks us what volume of gas would be produced by the complete combustion of 100 centimetres cubed of ethane gas. All volumes were measured at atmospheric pressure and room temperature. So we have to pick out our entities. So ethane has the formula C2H2. And the only gas product we have on the product side is our carbon dioxide, which has the formula CO2. We then have to pick out the mole ratio from the balanced equation. We've got two ethanes and we have got four carbon dioxides. We then times by 24 litres to put it into the correct unit. 24 times 2 gives me 48 litres of ethane and 4 times 24 litres gives me 96 litres of carbon dioxide. In the question, we've been given 100 centimetres cubed of ethane gas. We convert that into litres, which is 0 0.1 litres, and then we cross multiply. 96 times 0 0.1 divided by 48 gives us 0 0.2 litres. So I've now got three examples for you to have a go at. The quantity of the gas being used is put under the formula and the balanced equation and if you want to pause the video you can have a go and when you're ready the answers will pop up on the screen. Last paper question is from the higher 2018 multiple choice 14. What volume of gas in centimetres cubed would be obtained by the reaction of 100 centimetres cubed of ammonia and excess copper two oxide? All volumes are measured at atmospheric pressure and 20 degrees. So the first thing we have to do is we have to pick out our entities. So our reactant is ammonia which has the formula NH3. And the only one which is gas product would be nitrogen, which is N2. We then do our mole ratio from the balanced equation. We've got two ammonia and we've got one nitrogen. We times through by 24 litres. 
So that will give me 48 litres and 24 litres. And then we scale for the quantity given in the question. 100 centimetres cubed would be equal to 0 0.1 litres. And cross multiply, 24 times 0 0.1 divided by 48 gives us 0 0.05 litres, which would be the equivalent of 50 centimetres cubed.